All right. Welcome, everybody, to the post-game press conference from the second and final men's semifinal game at the 2021 Summit League Basketball Championships. We're joined first by North Dakota State. We've got with us head coach David Richmond and players Sam Griesel and Rocky Cruiser. Uh, tonight, the third-seeded Bison defeated the second-seeded uh, South Dakota Coyotes 79-75 to advance to Tuesday's men's championship <coughs> game at 8 p.m. North Dakota State will take on Oral Roberts. That game will be shown on ESPN2. As a reminder, please use the chat function in Zoom to type out questions you'd like me to ask on your behalf. Before you type out your question, please identify yourself, your organization, and who the question is for. We'll get to as many questions as we can at our 10-minute window. Thanks in advance to the coaches and players for joining uh, tonight. Um, also, a couple quick notes. Um, North Dakota State is now in the championship game for the third consecutive year and has won eight games in a row in this tournament. And they improved to 3-1 this season against USD, including 2-0 on this court. Uh, with that, Coach Richmond, if you would kick things off with an opening statement, please. Yeah, no, um, just want to give a, a lot of credit to Coach Lee. And, and you know, that's a, he's done a terrific job. There's a reason he was the coach of the year. And, and getting that group is a bunch of new faces. and. Um, the way they responded and competed without Blitz White, um, you know, it, it's a, a real credit to, to him and his staff. But um, more importantly, just really thrilled with the leadership of this group. I, I tell everybody that, that's listening right now the same thing I just told these guys in the locker room. Um, we have simply jumped on the back of three young men that exemplify everything that, you know, that I want this program to be about. And you walk out of our door in our locker room, this is their program. And, and it reflects with the leadership that surrounds me right now and Tyree Eady. And, and thankfully, we got a bunch of other guys, 10 other guys that are, that are smart enough to work hard, have fun, listen, and serve to our staff and these leaders. And um, we win because of the leadership and the servant leadership and the attitude of these three guys. Thank you, Coach. With that, the media queue is open. If you're going to be shy, I'll kick things off. Sam, if you could, um, you're down eight at half. Uh, what did you guys kind of focus on at, at, at halftime? What kind of adjustments were made to, to flip things around? Um, honestly, the first half we were just playing soft. Um, and in the second half, we really focused on getting downhill, getting to the free throw line. Um, and once we got into the paint, just being patient and, and playing with poise, that's kind of, you know, those two words, patience and poise, have been staples for, for us this season. Um, and we were just able to execute down the, down the stretch. Question for Coach from Mike McFeely of the Fargo Forum. Um, Rocky was uh, uh, quiet most of the game and then had a bunch of big buckets down the stretch. Um, could you comment on his play late and it seemed like you just decided to go to him a lot more? Yeah, I don't know if it's we decided to go to him. It's just him understanding the, the moment and, and the urgency of, of each moment. And, uh, and Rocky's, you know, uh, the number one guy on everybody's scouting report that we're playing against. And so things aren't just going to come easy. They did some things. You know, um, you know, with their defense, that to kind of neutralize some of the things that we like to do, give them credit. Um, but you know, most importantly, our guys just find a way, and, and we turned Rocky loose on the glass, and, and he was effective there, and, and got to the free throw line. Uh, another question for Coach from Ross Uglum of the Bison Report. Um, you said you pulled Tyree aside after the game, not necessarily asking what you said to him exactly, but what was kind of your message to him, um, and then do you have any concern about his leg at all? Thank you. That was my message, you know. I mean, he, the, the leadership and, um, I, you know, Sam was, was big down the stretch. I thought Rocky was very consistent um, throughout most of the second half. But Tyree was, Tyree was the one for the better part of that game when, they, when our back was against the wall, when we were down eight and things weren't going our way. He made a bunch of big time winning plays and just willed us back into that game. And, and that was really my message. You know, I've been a part of, of this and doing it with great leadership and Lawrence Alexander and Vinny, uh, Vinny Shahid. And I can go on and on. And, and these, three, these three guys are right at the top of that list. Um, question uh, from Ross again, um, and we'll give this to, to Rocky. Talk about Des McKinney and, and what he did for you guys tonight. He gave you a bunch of really good minutes in the first half and kind of kept you afloat. Yeah, you know, Des um, it can just be a really big spark for us off the bench. Um, he can be an energizer bunny, uh, you know, picking up opposing point guards for 90 feet, um, wearing them down. Uh, he can do a lot of stuff to, to make it um, difficult for him on the offensive end. Um, and he was huge tonight, you know, getting to the rim and finishing. 